There's gonna be three separate parts. You're gonna have your primary portion, you're, you're gonna pick your primary pushing exercise, your primary pulling exercise, and then your primary lower body exercise. With regard to this, for your primary push, pull, and lower body exercise, you can pick one. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys an exercise routine to help you lose fat, build muscle, and increase strength, and it's gonna be the 4812 method. The 4812 method is a method that I came up with, and it's a modification of Charles Poliquin's 61225 method that I demonstrated for you guys a few weeks ago. If you missed it, I'm gonna include a link right up over here to the 61225 method. But with regard to the 4812 method, before we get on with the breakdown, a couple of disclaimers. Number one, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. You can't expect optimal results with a suboptimal diet. Second thing worth noting is if you wanna maximize strength and high hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. What I mean by that is every single workout, if you were able to complete all of the sets and all of the repetitions using proper form, then the following workout, you want to go up in weight. It doesn't matter how hard you were struggling on that final repetition. If you were able to complete it using proper form, then the following workout, go up in weight. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. But first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section so it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. This right over here is going to be the full body workout. If you prefer to do an upper and lower body split, I'm going to include a link right up over here to the upper body portion of the 4 12 method. Before the full body, in terms of the frequency, you want to do this anywhere from two to three days a week. If you're doing it two days a week, you could do something like a Monday and Thursday or a Tuesday and Friday. If you're going to be doing it three days a week, you could do something like either a Monday, Wednesday, Friday or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then in terms of the breakdown, there's going to be three separate parts. You're going to have your primary part portion, you're, you're going to pick your primary pushing exercise, your primary pulling exercise, and then your primary lower body exercise. With regard to this, for your primary push, pull, and lower body exercise, you can pick one exercise and perform that same exercise for all of the triceps, or you can do a secondary and accessory push and pull as well. So let's say for the primary pushing exercise, let's say you want to you have type you have horizontal pushing and pulling and you have vertical pushing and pulling if you want to prioritize horizontal pushing then you could do all three of the exact same exercise so let's say the bench press however if you want to emphasize different things like the shoulders as well then you could pick something like a vertical push so you would pick horizontal push for your primary exercise if you want to if you want to prioritize horizontal pushing for your secondary push you could pick a vertical pushing exercise and then for your accessory push you could do an isolation exercise like an external rotation or something like a tricep extension for the pulling let's say you want to prioritize horizontal pulling you could do all horizontal pulling and pick one exercise and do all three or if you want to emphasize different areas you could do a horizontal pull for your first exercise for your secondary pulling exercise you could do a vertical pull and then for your accessory pull you could do something like a bicep curl and then for the squat for the lower body portion of the workout you're going to pick a primary lower body poor exercise that's going to be either a squat a bending slash hip hinging exercise or a lunging exercise Hip hinging is anything that involves hinging of the hips, so something like a deadlift pattern, good morning, kettlebell swing, one of those types of exercises. However, if you want to mix and match, then you could do the same thing. So your primary exercise, you could do your a squat as your primary lower body exercise, then you could do something like a deadlift as your secondary lower body exercise, and then you could do something like a lunge as your accessory lower body exercise. But that's the way it's going to break down, and you're going to do four sets of four, eight, and 12 repetitions using 83% of your one repetition maximum or a weight that you could lift roughly six times. You're gonna do a 5010 tempo for the set of four. For the set of eight, you're gonna do a 4010 tempo. For the set of 12, you're gonna do a 3010 tempo. So let's say you're doing a horizontal push. You're gonna do lower it down to the chest for five seconds, press for one for the set of eight, lower for four, press for one for the set of 12, lower for three, press for one. For the pull, you're gonna release for four and pull for one. You're gonna, for the set of eight, you're gonna release for four and pull for one and then for the set of 12 you're going to release it for three and then pull for one and sorry for the set of four you're doing releasing for five and then pulling for one then let's say for the you're picking a squatting exercise you're gonna squat down for five come up for one you're gonna squat down for four on the set of eight come up for one for the set of 12 squat down for three and come up for one for the deadlift you're going down for five up for one down for four up for one down for three up for one if you're picking something like a lunging exercise you're lunging forward for five coming back for one lunging forward for four coming back for one lunging forward for three and coming back for one and then in terms of the rest you're going to rest for 10 seconds in between the sets of four eight and twelve and then after the twelve you're going to rest for 180 seconds so let me clear clarify it a little bit more you let's say for your pushing exercise you're going to do four repetitions rest 10 seconds 
8 repetitions, rest 10 seconds. 12 repetitions, rest 180 seconds. Then after that, you're going to do 4 total tri-sets, and then once you've completed all 4, then you're going to move on to your primary pulling exercises. Once you've done all 4, then you're going to finish off with 4 rounds of your lower body exercises. And for this one right over here, if you follow along exactly as I've laid it out for you, it's going to take you exactly 59 minutes and 24 seconds to complete. But that's it for the, for the whole body workout. And then next week, I'm going to be going through another routine, and it's going to be another one of Charles Poliquin's routine. So be on the lookout for that next Friday, 2 o'clock p.m. If you guys have any questions with regard to anything that I discussed today, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as I'm going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.